this time we got my lady in white and since we've been using Shulk for all these tutorials oh, yeah lady in white and where are you Shulk where are you I never pick you he is down here and we're going to fight Crazy Eyes Link here, Fierce Deity Link, um, you know, aka husband and wifey fighting here uh, with a couple, classic couple, and we're going to take them to Skyloft Omega for this tutorial. Now, my lady Zelda, she's stylish, so I would only pick her if you're a stylish kind of person. Uh, if you like a little magic in your life, you know, and if you don't mind playing with a girl and beating people with a girl, then, yeah. So, shout outs to my mom right there, look, look in the background, you see her? She's got pretty hair. Okay, so, anyways, with, uh, the, with the girl Zelda, with the princess, um, we are going to show you her moves. She has got a jab, which has almost zero lag on it look at that so it's really good for spacing actually um whoa don't do that so yeah that's a little bit of knockback um it's really good for spacing you can get a follow up out of down to with it um but yeah it's pretty good zero lag and then we have forward tilt as good knockback you can swipe down with it like that Wipe up to the side, and then we have uh, reading rainbow right here. Wish upon a star. We should knock him up into the air for a follow up like that, maybe. And it might combo at lower percent. I forget. Cause I don't really use it that much personally. Because you're about to see a better. Yep, there we go. So there you go, there's that. And then we got down tilt, which is the omnipotent move. Let's see. Look how far that move reaches. Look, right there. And that does not. Look at that. The hitbox is way farther than her foot. Do you see? You see that white flash that's a little past her foot? Look, we're going to take a slight movement in. Oh no, we're going to go back a little bit. Ooh, look at that. So what you could do is combo down tilt and down tilt, like that. What you can do, oh, like that and combo it into that, or combo it into that. Oh man, which I'm just messing up on my sweet spot uh, forward airs right now, but. There you go. Okay, so you can do that later percent and get a forward uh, air out of it. Of course, like we said, you can get other things, but yeah, it's really good. You can get down to down tilt, do a forward smash. Or, you know, since they're all messed up, they don't even know where they're at right now. Or you can just go simply with a jab, or you can do. I already said that, but you can do that and do that forward tilt. You can do down tilt into basically whatever the heck you want to do it into. You know? I mean, it's just it's a free world out here with down tilt. And by free, I mean you beat them free. If you use that move enough. That move is great. So, enough about down tilt, although you can never say enough about down tilt. Um, let's get into her other stuff. Let's get into her aerials. Her aerials, she has that, <laughs> which is back here. Uh, but it does have, you know, look, it won't hit them like that everywhere. You gotta get pretty deep into it. And I would not suggest it as an approach option because it has a lot of lag. Look at that. Look at how long she takes to recover. See that? See how long it takes for her to do anything? Um, same thing with their forward air, really. Look, it takes forever. So, but, oh, forward air also has a sweet spot. 
Oh, which I'm not hitting right now. There you go. There's a sweet spot on it, and it will kill. So she has lots of flashy kill options, as you've already seen. Um, she has down air, which is fun, because even the weak hit sometimes will spike them a little bit. But it does have a meteor uh, spike option like that. So, yeah. There you go. That's down, that's down here for you. That's the only thing you really use it for. Um, up air can be followed up out of down throw at some percents, and it will usually kill. So, you want to get them a little higher percent before you do it. Um, and then you can follow up with your up air. There you go. And you can just kind of bait out of air dodge. Do that. So that moves pretty good. Pretty decent. Um, Alright, her specials. Her specials, she's got Dim's Fire. Which, look, whipping, see it whipping? You can whip it like pretty close to him almost. And if you hit the core of it um, on them. Which I was almost before. You will get. And I cannot see because that combo never seen. Well, if you hit it with the core, um, for some reason it's easier to do this when you're actually playing. Look, see, he's blocking it. Link's OP. OP Link confirmed! Look at that! Behind him! Oh my goodness. So. <laughs> so unless Link is standing still, you can hit him with that and kill him. Um, let's try and see if we can get it. You can do it with the edge guard like that. Oh my gosh. Link, stop. Link OP, stop. That'll kill him. <laughs> but yeah, you can use it for just her, you know, that's a long range option. Um, long range face enough, you can fade back like that. You know, you don't want everyone to fade towards him, so. You fade back and do that if it wasn't Link. <laughs> Lol. Yep. Alright. So. You could fade around like that. You could, I guess you could approach with it. I would, I would suggest, you know, fading back with it like that. And that way, you can get some space between yourself and you can keep using it. Um, and then, what you gotta do is bait them to come in and you're gonna hit them with something else when they're trying to when they think you're still charging up that, you're going to let it go and hit them with it. But yeah, it's great for spacing, great for edge guarding, um, really great um, for all that stuff. So, another special. We got the new one, which is the Phantom. And you can charge it up just as long as I did. Um, and you can also actually reverse it and get some space. Do that. Get some space. And what he does is he will, for number one, unless it's Link, <laughs> unless it's Link, he will hit your opponent. And actually, if you charge him up, he'll do a double hit. Oh, that went under Link's shield. Um, and that will kill at high, high percent. But um, other than that, he will block physical and um, projectile attacks that have to go through him. And actually, he, you cannot walk through him. Um, you, you have to run through him, I think. Um, sometimes it'll stop like dash attacks and stuff like that, they'll just stop right right where he's at. But, um, you know, of course, you're kind of set at one spot when you're using him, so be careful with it. You know, you want to fade away with it or do something like that. And actually, you can use him for edge guarding too, if they're coming laterally. You know, you swipe them. Um, or actually, you could just use them to set them out there as, as something else um, when they're getting back on stage. But, you know, that being said, you don't want to use it like right on top, um, right on top of them. And hang on, momentary, momentary interruption here. Um, momentary interruption. Okay, so. You can, like I said, you can use it. You gotta use it space away, and you know you kind of want to use it 
if you set up the phantom first, you can do some dense fire action behind them, and then they can't hit you with their projectile a lot of times. So that's really good. Um, yeah, yeah, he's just really cool. He's flashy. He's really cool. I just use him a lot because <laughs> because he looks cool, really. Um, I mean, he has some good things about him, but yeah. Other than that, he really just looks cool and lulls all the stuff for you. Yay. Okay. Um. And what's our special? Let's see. We got the the uh, Naru's Love, I believe is the technical name for it. It is a multi-hitting move, and it has a little suck like in win box kind of thing to it. See, it sucked them in. Um, so that makes it pretty good for getting rolls. If they roll behind you, you can get them with it because it's multi-hitting. It lasts for a while. It has some lag on it, but it's not too bad. And it, of course, is a reflector. Reflector. See that? Sorry, Link. Um, and you can, of course, use it in the air or whatever. Oh, yeah, another thing about Dense Fire, don't do this. Free fall after this fire, so just this warning. But yeah, you can use this in the air. It'll actually stop you a little bit, you know, kind of like foxes uh, would. Uh, it'll stop you in the air. So you can use that for those purposes too. Um, and let's see what else. You can use teleport. Which is her other move. You can teleport in place and just troll. You can teleport away. But the new improvement to teleport in this game is it has a ton of knockback. Um, and so sometimes, that don't do that in the air because it has some more lag, but sometimes you'll be able to surprise them and kill them with it. But if they're on to you and they're they're good, you know, they'll just shield it and then hit you with the forward smash or whatever afterward because it has some lag, especially when it hits shield. Um, so, be careful with that. It's like a YOLO surprise option, I'd say. Um, but it's, it's, it's definitely got some reward to the wrist because it could kill them, you know. So, but another good thing is say you're, say you're both just kind of chilling, you know. Link and you are chilling right here next to each other, and you're both you got the shield. And he is going to drop his shield. You, you know, you want to trick him into dropping his shield and then doing this. Oh man, the Tower of Terror is what I call it. Yep, Tower of Terror. So, there you go. Look, at low percent, it doesn't work, but at higher percent, is there next to you? Look, you whiff right there. See that? But if you're they're right next to you. You can get them with it at high percent and kill them. And it doesn't really have to be that high, necessarily, if Link doesn't die here. Um, let's get him about... I think about 70 would be fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, see? So that's not that not that bad, and it kills, so that kills pretty early. Um, oh, Lord, I have not talked about neutral here. Look at that move. That move is awesome. It is great for combos and multi hitting. I wouldn't really space with it because the uh, hitbox is not too great. You know, but you could do that and do that. You know, if you fastball with it and lock them down. That's if they don't block it, I mean. But if they block it, they're going to punish you. But see, that's pretty good. But it could also be used, like I said earlier. Oh, shoot. There we go. Like that. Or actually in a down air combo you could use it. So Oh. Did that. But yeah, so you get a point. Neutral air is pretty good. And then I forgot to talk about her dash attack. Look, dash attack could kill at higher percents. It could kill at higher percents and uh, that's a good thing. And it also is a great roll punish because it has a little burst right there at the end. Um, so it's a great roll punish. You know, you don't really want to be that offensive with Zelda. I mean, you kind of want to mix it mix it up and you know do some setups. Use a little bit of everything. So use that too, though. 
Um, especially since the Link Shield is not manipulated against <laughs> No. Uh, but. Okay, so. What else have we got? Oh, yeah, you could, of course, do that. Um, in space with her, um. Shoot. With her forward tilt. Or. Look at that. That range on her pivot grab is pretty good. Oh. It faded away with it. Yeah. So if you run through them, you want to do that. You know, there you go. Oh yeah, and her forward smash, of course. Where you do the pivot forward smash. Run, tap the other way, and then... Hit C stick. Yeah. That's good for spacing, it because her, her forward smash has an interesting hitbox to it. See that? It didn't look like it was going to hit him, because it, it just shows that little tiny ball, but it kind of has a little box to it where it hits a little farther than that so yeah okay um what else with Zelda oh shoot oh shoot I was trying to do something technical that I can't do um well you can do something called roll cancel grab um which would be something like you throw out, you throw out grab like right when you're. Oh. Oh, yeah. Right at the beginning of the. There you go. So it's the beginning of the uh, of the frame. Oh. This is the beginning of the. Uh, we well, saw me do it earlier, but I can, I don't really use that much. I use pivot grab. But you can't use roll cancel grab if you want. I, I'm just not that good with it. But you can look that up for more information on that. Um, oh gosh, what else do we need to know with Zelda? Besides, she's pretty. <laughs> okay, uh. Um. Yeah, her combos, you know. Of course, use that. You know, you can follow up with forward air and back air at higher percents. So yeah, you could you could do that. Um, but at real high percent, you know, you could just hit them with the uh, with the up air and kill them. <coughs> so down throw is her best throw. Yeah, I didn't talk about it though. So down, down throw is definitely her best throw because of combos and stuff like that, right? Um, you know, I'll show you her other throws. Up throw, you could do that. I mean, you could do that and do a little combo with that. But after a while, it's gonna wear out. Forward throw, just for positioning, really. Um, back throw is good. Back throw has a good knockback to it, pretty good. Um, as far as recovery, you know, Zelda has a really good recovery with her up B. I mean, it's not really good, but it's pretty good. The only problem with it is once they see it come, you know, once it's coming out, it's going there. So, they know you're going to the ledge, so some characters can take advantage of that and edge guard you by, you know, throwing out a hitbox or something. Um, especially if you miss the edge. And what could happen is you could, you know, if you get over here, you're going to have some trouble getting back. Um, some stages are kind of slanted where you could just press up B and it will hit you off to, uh, you know, it will slide you up to the edge. But this stage is, this Omega stage is different. Um, where if you do up B there, it's sending you off in a r random direction. So... You could, you gotta just get good at um, doing a uh, that sweet spot, sweet spot in the edge. It's kind of hard to show you here because I'm jumping off the ledge. If I was coming back on, it's a little easier. But you don't really want to do that unless you want a surprise. You know, you want to land right on the edge. You don't want to do that either. And uh, you know, have too much lag on it. But what you want to do is that you know, just get there. So you can recover real low to be safe, or you can recover from out here if you're crazy and you want to chance that your control stick is going to hit the diagonal button like mine just thankfully did. Um, but yeah. And as far as the edge guard, you can edge guard with that. That's real good. You can actually go real low because of Zelda's um, recovery and just can't, you know. You can ledge trump them. Well, you can really, uh, that's really good with, uh, Zelda is ledge jumping, which you know, once they grab the ledge, you just 
you just well, all you have to do is just run off run off and grab it which I'm not doing right now I mean it doesn't you don't have to do it real quick but you can by just running off and and hitting back towards the stage not hitting back towards the stage I mean like you know clicking back towards the stage uh, but anyways you're gonna grab the ledge and after you grab the ledge um, if they're still on it you know you'll pop them off and immediately after that you're gonna go boop, hit them with the back here and kill them um, so that's good and then of course if you want to be safe Zelda can do that too so you can just stay on that stay on here with dense fire you know you can throw that guy if you want um, you know and kill people like that so that's another option she has lots of edge garden options the only thing about Zelda is you know, she ha she doesn't have that much distance in footsie range. I mean, she has de decent footsies. Um, it doesn't have her mobility is weird. You know, everything is a little different about her just because she uh, has all these weird laggy moves um, that will mess you up if you don't use them right. So you got to know how to use everything with her in order to use her, and you got to make the right reads because wrong read with this will get you killed. The right read will kill them. Um, and, yeah. So, and you gotta know how to zone a little bit, especially in some matchups. Um, yep, and that's the girl, that's the princess. There you go. Zelda for the win. And then, what you have to do, um, versus... Uh, versus opponents on online is you gotta start with this. Especially with Zelda dittos, everybody knows. That was not that one. You do that. Yep, you wave to each other and then you start a match, okay? So, to all of you, oh yeah, and then you, I don't know, that looks a little like you're uh, sticking some fingers at some people that you don't want to do. But anyways, <laughs> um, so, we'll say goodbye to Link and goodbye to you all. Oh, she's showing you all her dress. Um, until next time, bye.